The glow of the fire, the holiday jazz, it's like living in a magazine spread. You peasants should be honored to share in this splendor. Yeah, until the fire sputters out and I freeze solid like a statue. Oh, Muffin, don't be so bitter. Remember last year, we got those fish treats shaped like Santa hats. Even you cracked a smile for five seconds. Only because I thought they'd keep coming. Spoiler alert, they didn't. Can we talk about how this season is just a plot to make me sleep on the world's coldest, hardest floors? My back feels like it's been folded like a holiday napkin. Maybe if you weren't shaped like a sack of potatoes, there'd be more room on the couch. <laughs> Says the cat who takes up enough space for two reindeers. Oh, I'd share if I wasn't surrounded by creatures who think a special holiday means finding new places to nap and whine. Speaking of whining, Muffin, remember when you cried for hours when the fire went out last year? Pure holiday spirit. I was lamenting the loss of warmth, Pickles. Not that you'd understand with your eternal cheer. <laughs> If we're sharing stories, how about we focus on how I've got to muscle my way to the fire between all this fluff and attitude, and then get shoved out from my trouble. My back is basically auditioning for the role of the broken sleigh. Oh no, Frank's tragic holiday tale. Next we'll hear about how the rug wronged you. Oh, keep talking, Pickles. You'll find out how many table scraps I eat before you get a taste. And while you all bicker over scraps, I'll be here basking in the perfection of holiday elegance. Some of us still know how to appreciate it. Yeah, appreciating it while your tail takes up half the couch and the fire risks going out. Real elegant. If this elegance keeps up, I'm going to start chewing on the garland out of spite. And you'd still complain about the taste, old man. Oh, call me when the humans bring treats. Maybe then this whole mess will be worth it. You're right. Let's hope they bring enough to keep you all quiet. <laughs> One can dream. Until then, I'll just be over here perfecting my impression of a frozen pancake on the world's hardest floor. If anybody needs me, I'll be busy contemplating the tragic comedy that is my life.